Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna show you how to get one of these. That's right, the GMRS, the General Mobile Service Radio Certification, or as they say, license that you need. Uh, actually, it's not a certification because there's no test. So it's basically your license to operate, which is really cool. In case you're wondering what that is, that's just the phonetic alphabet. Kind of uh, trying to get uh, used to my, as they would say, he who no have license cannot operate ham radio. My call sign, kind of cool, huh? Um, yeah, so my call sign is Whiskey Sierra David Victor 295. Just testing out the new system here. Copy that. Over. Just doing a flight check, picking up some sonar. Cool, it works. Anyway, uh, so without any further ado, let's get started so we can show you how to uh, do this process, which should be pretty streamlined after watching the video. And uh, come. Okay, so after you've registered, you're going to go to this website. Uh, most likely you might get kicked out or you just need to log back in. So what you'll do is you'll log in, type in your password. And once you're there, it looks like request security code, ensuring your account security is in the top priority. Okay, so we'll do send code because uh, it looks like I can't move on. Um, okay, so they must have sent the code to my email address. And if I go here, uh, let's see, looks like it's still in the process. We'll just click refresh. There it is. Do not reply. We'll just, this is a one-time code. And then we're just going to go there, submit code. Thanks for understanding, probably because I was booted out. All right, see, there we go. So you can either select from here or you can go here, register new, right? See, and then you're going to select, um, in case you can't see where I'm pointing, I will just um, activate the cursor for some of you guys. Um, are you registering as an entity or individual? We're going to select individual. Is your contact address within the United States territories? Yes or no, depending on where you are. Um, please read the following options carefully and make a selection. Okay, so I'm going to choose individual FRN, select for restricted radio operator and all individuals conducting business with the FCC. Okay, so I'm just gonna click continue. Um, so I'm gonna have to fill in this information. Uh, so you guys hang on and then I'll see what happens next. Let's see what's at the bottom. Uh, and then you'll just click submit, okay? All right, so knowing that and moving forward, they're gonna ask for your, your middle initial, your first name, your last name, contact information, if it's the same as above, where you live, etc. All right, so this is gonna take a bit. So for you guys, it'll probably happen in real time. Okay, all the above information is correct. This is my address and I click submit. Uh, the above information you can't see because you have to input your social security number. If you don't have a social security number, just state why. Maybe you're waiting for one, maybe you never got one. Uh, what are the, re the reasons that option is there okay see if you look on the top your frn registration number is and this is my number here um, so now i can copy it right and then moving forward we can move on to the next step okay so after you get your frn number what you want to do is i'll just move this over a little bit so that you guys can see is uh go to this website right here uh this particular link it's called license manager Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to log in with your license manager. You're going to log in with your FRN number and whatever password you use to 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 create this number, um, which is the other the link to the other site. Okay, so now when we click submit, it should log us in. See, we're there, and you're like, oh wow, so cool. Where do I go? So what you want to do is you go here, um, apply for a new license. Okay, and then after you apply for a new license, you're going to go all the way down to the bottom. And click ZA, General Mobile Radio. Okay, it's a uh, General G M R S. That's what it's the acronym uh, stands for. And then you just click Continue. And then um, you know you just follow the prompts. And then uh, let's see, nope, it's just no, no, no. Okay. And then. It's a little, a little laggy. Sometimes the site is down. As you see, I press continue. Then you put in your name and everything else and all that other fun stuff. And then, you you know, everything will just happen magically. And then what you do is, right, you're going to go into the other website, 
into I believe the FCC registration login, right? So after you after you pay, after you're here, follow the prompts to the pay experience when it says thank you. Um, you know, this is just going to take you to the licensing manager so that you can actually um, do what you need to do to go back into the other side. So press keep follow the, the prompts, follow continue, and then you go back here, and then you log in. Okay. And now I'm logged in. And then what you'll do is you just go here to bills and fees. Okay. And then um, financial, FRN financial. And you see I have a green light, but you see you click there, make a payment. And in my case, there's nothing here because I already, uh, I already paid. And so now I just have to wait. Um, see? I paid my FRN, payment history, and you're done. But you're not done because don't turn on your uh, radio until you actually have your handle. Again, don't turn on your radio until you have your handle. You got a walkie-talkie, fun, use it. You know, you want to start off on the right foot. All right, so knowing that and moving forward, that's pretty much it. So now I just have to wait for my handle before we actually, um, you know, move forward and I show you guys some more stuff uh, with the uh, with this system. Catch you guys on the flip side. Two days later. And then what you want to do is go to your email. So after one or two days, you should have a application grant. And then if you click on the authorization link, so there are two options. One is you could pick... Uh, click on the PDF and see the authorization link is basically a link that should create a download experience as you can see it's still loading where your um, license will just simply download um, we'll click that out of the way so while that's doing that right well in the background if that's not working and that's taking too long you just click here on the license manager okay and then what you'll want to do is you'll log in okay with your FRN number and password that you created so for me it's here and click submit uh, and as you can see this one's still loading and for sure that one's still loading and sometimes you might have to do this let's say we'll just press enter as you can see ah what do you know it just downloaded see that and then we'll go here so for the download you just go here see and there it is there goes my call sign whiskey sierra david uh i think it's victor is it Victor? Um, I don't remember. Was it Victor? Victor. Yes, it is Victor. All right, cool. I got that part right. So you know, just practice your 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 your. your I was gonna say screen name, but they call it your call sign. Kind of neat. So remember your call sign. Now see, once you're logged in, okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click here, click on My Applications. Okay. See, you're right there, and then. What you're going to do is you're going to click here. This is if the download link isn't working for you. Maybe you have pop-ups enabled and you just can't disable it. So click there. See? And then we just wait. See that? And then we go here. And then you go add. And then you highlight it. And then you scroll down a little bit. And then you just click right here. Download. And then, see? Voila. You just wait for it. See how we have a spinning thing right there? And then, um, basically, this is regenerating that. PDF link that we had seen uh, in the email that was sent to us by the FCC. We'll just close that. And sometimes it's a little bit slow. And so what you do is you simply just press enter again. And you just wait. Wait. Up. Oh, see, there it is. Saw that on the right hand corner. See, and then download it again. Voila. See, 1018. 1018. That was just now. Uh, your official electronic authorization link has expired. Please, ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. All right, so if you get that, welcome back to everything that glitches. So what we'll do is we'll just do that. Remember, we include the whole experience. We don't just make it look good um, and delete the experience that just happened. So, you, you know, you want to know, like, well, wait, that didn't happen in the video. All right, let's try that again. Take two and action. Let's see, press space bar, fingers crossed. I don't know, it's eight kilobyte compared to one kilobyte. That means there's data in there. Hopefully it's not a longer letter. Ah, and there it is. Whiskey, Sierra, David, Victor, 295. Just testing out the line here. I just got my, my radio. and can copy that. 
you know, so I don't know. And so yeah, we'll leave that for another video. But that's the beauty of this compared to the ham radio because you're just losing the designated lines that you're allowed to and there's no confusion um, and, and, and no licensing required. Although this is sort of like a license, but there's no test. You know, this is basically your radio station authorization. All right, for the GSMRS, in case you're wondering, it's the uh, General Mobile Radio Service. Kind of neat, huh? Anyway, catch you guys on the flip side. Kind of neat, huh? A little bit of a, not as streamlined but has a process have you thought it would be. It would be nice if it was contained into one website, but instead you have to go from back to one, back into the other, back to one, to the other, and then your email. Sometimes the email uh, link will work, and if it doesn't, you know, the other way around that, uh, so that you can get this downloaded. And once you have that downloaded, I'd say then it's safe to turn on your device, uh, given that it's a... Uh, GMRS, right? Remember, this is GMRS, GMRS. Um, we're not doing him uh, maybe down the line after I get my ham radio certification. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you in how to obtain your call sign. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.